All right, today I want to show you guys how to deep load any Android phone without a PC or root. So there is this app called Kanta or maybe Santa, it's C-A-N-T-A. -A. You can call it whatever you want. So basically using this app, you can deep load any Android phone without root. You'll need one more application called Shizuku, which you can download from Google Play Store. It's also open source application. You can also get this app from Afdroid. But when I tried installing this from Afdroid, I got an error. It didn't install. But when I downloaded from the GitHub directly, I was able to install this app. No problem. So just download it from GitHub. Go to releases and download it from here. It also supports x86 which is not a common so mostly you just want to download the arm 64 v8 or v7 now once you have installed both apps first you need to open shizuku app using this app we can enable adb on our device we don't need a root or pc you can also read the setup guide for shizuku how to set this up and all that but it's actually pretty simple go to pairing option then click on developer options and in here make sure to enable the usb debugging and then enable wireless debugging actually click on this option and then enable wireless debugging once you do that click on pair device with pairing code option all right click on that and it will give you the code here and enter that code in the notification panel there will be a notification by shizuku so just enter that code two three one three five two i think yeah now it will say you can start shizuku service now so now go back to shizuku and go back again and then click on start if it says developer option don't worry go back to the developer option and then just disable it once and enable it one more time all right and now go back to shizuku and it will start the service and you can see at the top it says shizuku is running once you see this go to authorized applications option and allow this app kanta all right just turn this option on now finally we need to open the kanta app so open this up and it will load all the apps that are installed in your phone click on the three dot menu and then click on only system uh, which will show you only system apps and then you can start uninstalling system apps you can also filter it by uh, recommended advanced expert unsafe just to be absolutely safe only uninstall recommended apps all right so you can see there are many apps where it says recommended you have to be really careful when uninstalling system apps because you can actually break the android system so only uninstall those apps which you think is safe to uninstall so let's say uh, i want to uninstall chrome because i don't use it let's say i use firefox or something like that so in that case chrome browser is just useless for me so i'm gonna select that all right i can also multi-select applications okay uh, let's see if I have something else that I can uninstall I also don't use print services so I'm gonna select that one too and now I'm gonna click on this um, delete icon all right simply I'm gonna hit ok now uninstall complete so if I go back you can see the Chrome browser is gone uh, the Chrome browser was right here and it's gone so it's really simple and easy application to uninstall bloats from your android phone now if you want to restore anything that you deleted you can go to this uh, delete icon at the top and in here you can see the list of apps that you have uninstalled so go in there and let's say i actually want the chrome back so why not just get it back so i'm gonna select that option and i'm gonna click on this install icon so i'm gonna click on that 
now it is reinstalled it says reinstall complete now if i go back you can see chrome is here back where it was another way to restore uninstalled apps is simply by going into the google play store and uh, download the app which you have uninstalled so yeah this app is absolutely amazing for deep loading any android phone without root or pc and try only to uninstall those app which has the recommended label and make sure that before uninstalling any app you know that this won't break your system all right so just keep that in mind and you'll be all good to go yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye